In this video here we're going to look at the, some of the visualization techniques um, or capabilities really with the Codis software. Um, and it's really quite excellent to be fair. Um, we've got a great setup for being able to test or kind of simulate a project um, and give a quite um, strong visualization of um, the system operating and good user interaction as well um, for it. And it gives, I suppose, um, a foundation for if we were going to build HMI screens and uh, user interfaces, you know, it gives you a kind of flavor for that as well. But here I've just opened up um, a project uh, with my CECLK -E link. And then what I'm going to do is, look, I'm just going to set up a couple of um, basic commands to turn on um, some outputs. Uh, we'll keep it pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too major. Um, we're setting up an iron condition here. Um, we can call this, let's see, we will call it our start button. Um, Given an address, um, I do it in caps, percentage I x 0, 0.0, pop that one in, um, and then what else we do? We'll give us our um, stop um, stop that in one and what I'll do then is we'll put an output on uh, start stop and we'll call this just an LED okay um, so I can map them in there we have an LED and we have a stop button and what I'm going to do is we'll do a basic latching system. Um, so I can insert um, a contact parallel below, which is that nice button in there. Make sure you've got that starting point selected. And again, we're going to map back in our LED to create a latch. Um, so our stop button should be normally closed. And we can do a quick kind of change um, from normally open to normally closed there with a right click and go to that negation um, option. So here, We've got a simple latch, basically we push the start button, it allows um, power to flow through to the LED, it can flow through the normally closed contacts, see that line there, it allows us to pass through that switch and into the LED. Then ultimately we used output as an input so that we can loop back around and come in here and keep the LED powered. So ultimately it's got two pathways to get its power, so even if we lose the power from here, the fact that we've looped back this on, looped back around the LED, we can keep the power on. Um, so this input just kind of mimics exactly what this LED does. So if the LED is on, that input is closed. LED is off, that input is opened. Um, so that allows us to loop back around in, keep power in that pathway to the LED, and then eventually if we want to push the stop button, that's going to open up um, the gap here and ultimately break the power to those two LEDs. Just kind of concept of simple latch. Um, and now if we want to add in a visualization here, um, so it's great, we don't need to connect um, a PLC or wired up or anything to get this up and running. Um, what we do need to do is, well we can check that our code works, so we can go ahead and build the code to see if there's any warning messages or anything that comes down. We can see it's pre-compiled so everything is good. Um, what we also want to do is we want to turn on simulation mode, okay, and that kind of tells the software that it doesn't need to look um, for a communication connection to the physical hardware. We're going to do it in simulation. And then what we need to do is we need to add in, under the application, we need to add in an object, which is going to be a visualization object. Um, and we just select the standard one. So that gives us ultimately a space where I can create this visualization um, for my simulation. So what I'm going to do is, you can see under the toolbox here, I can take in some uh, different labels, I can draw some stuff, we can take in some standard controls, and ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in two switches, okay? Um, so let's just do two power switches. So one's going to be a start and stop button, and then we know they're going to turn on um, a lamp for us, okay? So that's what they're going to turn on. So I'll keep, I'll keep my lamp yellow, and what we'll do is you can also... And change the color here. I'll have a green LED 
and to turn it on, uh, sorry, I went into the background image, and I actually clicked red, so green, um, you might not see it on the screen, but you see a little green there, and then we'll have a red one to represent a kind of stop button. Um, again, you have you've full control here um, on what you want to set it to. Uh, we're just going to give a green and a red button. Um, hopefully you can see the kind of colours is just around the power button there. And then it's going to turn on a yellow LED. Okay, so that's ultimately given us a good idea of what um, we've got. There are two inputs and our output. And then we need to map them to the I.O. that we've defined in our actual PLC. So if you click on one of the images, you'll see it has an option to put the variable in. So what I can do is I can add the variable in here and ultimately look inside my application and give one the start button and again add a variable to the stop button. So that all means when I toggle or click on this button, it will act as a push button. So it'll just momentarily stay on and momentarily give supply um, and it will link it to those uh, particular inputs. And then our output again under variable we can add in our LED there. So I'm happy that that's all linked up. So now what you want to do is you want to log in. Okay, so what this does um, is it logs you into your simulation. Um, if you were doing this without the simulation, you'd be physically logging in to your uh, PLC, so accessing and allowing you to d um, download code into it. Um, so that's what it's doing there. It's downloading the code into our visualization because we've set up the simulation. And then up here we need to turn our PLC on, put it into run mode. And now we've got this set up. So you'll see, if you look in, um, you'll see what's on currently. So obviously nothing's on because we haven't triggered the start button. The stop button's normally closed, so yeah, we're allowed to bypass through there. And our LED is not illuminated. So if I go in here and I push the start button, you'll see even the, way the light has come on, to show me my light has come on, uh, even if that's still kind of highlighted, so that means it's staying on. So if I click it again, it's off. So you'll see the light stays on. And then if I turn on my stop button, that's going to cut the power there um, and turn us off. So you can kind of see we're toggling it out. And even if, look, if I push on um, the green button again, we can see the power flowing through the LED, the LED becoming illuminated. We can see all the pathways it's getting this power from. Now if I turn off that switch, You'll see it's just got this pathway here, and then again, if I hit the stop button, we'll open it up and cut it off. Okay, so really good visualization. You get the idea, um, you just need to put a variable, uh, link it to um, ultimately your images. You can create your own images, you can draw your own ones, um, but there's some good standard ones there. And you see you get a nice interface that you can kind of visually see what's going on in your program. If you need to make any changes, you just stop the PLC, you can log out, and then go back in and edit either your PLC program or indeed your visualization, which is just there.